Linger by the Cranberries. Guys, I'm gonna. I, I I really like the Cranberries. I just I just really like them. They is it offensive if I say they remind me of the Smiths? I feel like they're like kind of like the Smiths, like a '90s version of the Smiths. Well, I guess we'll learn it. So standard tuning, normal guitar is pretty easy. It's guys, if you're a beginner, this song is a nice one. If you're not a beginner, this song is a nice one. Just a nice song. A nice song about lingering. You need a D chord, guys. Put your middle finger on the second fret of the bottom string. Put your uh, ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the bottom. Put your pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. At this point in time, you're actually gonna lift up your pointer finger. We don't want that one just yet, but have it on standby, ready to go. You're gonna play the bottom three strings one at a time. Look, you play the third from the bottom, then you play the second from the bottom, then you play the bottom one, but I recommend you pluck up on the bottom one. So it goes boom, boom, pow. Now let's do that a couple times in a row. Let's go boom, boom, pow, boom, boom, pow. There's a little gap, and before you start it over, there's that tiny little pause. We go like that, guys. We're gonna do it four times in a row. One, two, here we go. Then, if you recall, if you'll think back a moment, you think with your ears, right? If you, if you remember, I told you your pointer finger had to be on standby, ready to go. At this point, after you play that four times, your pointer finger is gonna go back to its spot on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing. One, two, three, four. That's the introduction to the song. We just do this chord and then this one. We're gonna, I, look, I tried to count how many times they do this. I like three times I put on the song. I played along with it, was counting along. I was like, all right, they do it once, they do it twice, they do it three times. Oh, I wonder about the stuff with the things. And I wonder what the song is about. Oh crap, I forgot to count. I did that three times. <laughs> That's how I do three. What is, what is happening? Guys, they do it a bunch of times. Maybe eight, I don't know. Let's do it. Let's, what do you say we do that whole thing twice together right now? Okay, those times. Spanish for two. Surprised you didn't know that. One, two, here we go. Switch and pointer. Then pull it off. Oh. Pointer again. That face I just made? Least favorite face. Anytime I see anyone on a TV show, in a movie, in real life making that face, I think to myself, well, that's a stupid face. They should stop making it. And there, here I am making it. Guys, There's. I lied to you. I said that was the intro. There's actually one more spot to the intro. After we do that 27,000 times, you go like this. All three fingers on the second fret of the bottom three strings. So like second fret, second fret, second fret. Just strum the bottom three strings. Then get rid of your ring finger. Get rid of the finger on the bottom and then strum that. So that was. It's debatable. I'm gonna, that could be, I'm gonna say, this is sort of like a D major seven chord, but it doesn't actually sound, wait, this was thinking. So it doesn't actually sound like a D major seven chord. Do you hear all this racket outside? Listen. Oh, okay, it's not very loud. I might be overreacting slightly. I think this is an, what I'm trying to say is I believe this is an A6 chord. So look, we go, and then, this is a regular A chord. There, but it's a weird, ver don't forget I said that. You don't need to know the names of these chords. Shop, look. You do that, then, at this point, I totally remember what you do. Oh, you go to a C, go to a C, so that's pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom, middle finger, second fret, third string from the top, we skipped a string right there. Ring finger, third, the racket is back. Stopped again. Ring finger, third fret, second string from the top. This is a C chord, you're gonna strum that. Then you're gonna get rid of your pointer finger, that becomes a C major seven. This is a lot of stuff. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna tie it all together. It's gonna make perfect sense. Then we go to a G, what do you know about G? Oh, is it this? Middle finger, third fret on the top. Pointer finger, second fret, second string from the top. Ring finger is on the third fret of the second string from the bottom, and pinky is right below that on the third fret of the bottom string. You're gonna strum that. Then get rid of your ring finger, but that's actually kind of hard to lift up your ring finger. If you want, you can just lift up your ring finger or get rid of your pinky and move your ring finger on there and strum that. Those are both G chords, but they switch, they go. So that big confusing part that I just showed you is not actually that bad. I just made it oh, so much more harder than it, more harder. Oh, I can't believe I said that. I made it much harder 
than I needed to. I feel like I should put this part at the end because it's not very intriguing at the beginning here. We go, remember that? And then you wait a few beats then, then wait a few more beats then. So that means the entire intro is you go like this, a whole bunch of times, and then you go like this. One, two, three, four, and a one, two, three, four, a one, two, and then the actual song starts. Guys, my name is Stuart. Welcome to Guitar Lessons with Stuart. This is Loinger by the Cranberries. Okay, so I have a question. I don't, when people say like, let it linger, like I know it's a reference to this song, but what do they mean by that? I'm an old man. I don't know what it means when people say let it linger. Would you explain it in the comments? And let, only if it's nice though. Not if it's mean and not if it's gross. What does it mean to let things linger, you guys? I feel like it's gonna be gross. All right, the verse to the song. Should we learn the verse? Great news. The verse and the chorus are exactly the same. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so uh, I'm, I gotta chill out. I keep making just weird noises. Guys. Hi. Okay. D chord. We already went over the D. It was starting from the bottom. You go second fret, then third fret, then second fret. Now, here's the thing about the D chord, guys. I didn't tell you about this earlier. You must mute the top string with your thumb. You just gotta. You just gotta. If, you, if you're not, that's so that you just take your thumb, you bring it up over the top. You don't even have to wrap your thumb around. You just need to like smush it down. See, I'm just smushing it down so that the fleshy smushiness of my thumb touches the top string. Maybe that's what lingering is when you smush this, your thumb. On this D, if you want, if you want, you can mute the top two strings. Sometimes I find myself doing, but you don't need to. You only need to mute the top one. On this D chord, you're gonna strum like this. You're gonna go down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. What, are you kidding me? I have to memorize that whole thing. Look, play just the first part of it with me. We're just gonna go down, down, up, down, down, up. Two, here we go. Down, down, up, down, down, up. One, two, one more time. Down, down, up, down, down, up. I lied, this is the last time. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Let's add the next part now. Now we're gonna go down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 down. Then back to me. Just the dogs. Ruff, bark, bark, ruff, bark, ruff, ruff, bark, bark. Yeah. Just the cows. Moo, 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 moo. Hey. Just the cats. Meow, 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 meow. This is the last one, I promise. Meow, meow, meow. Hey. So helpful. My name's Stuart. Like and subscribe. Did I say that already? Oh, guys, it's been a long day already. It is currently 11.03 a.m. in the morning. I've got a banjo over here. There's a little rubber duck. So many things are happening. Let's proceed with the song. I think we know that's, oh, there's more of the strumming. Okay, look. Down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, down. That's down up at the end. That's the only, and that during that down up, that really is just buying us time to switch to the next chord. What's the next chord, you ask? Great question. The next chord is an A6 chord. An A6 chord is sort of like a bar chord, but I promise it's like one of the easiest bar chords you're ever gonna have to do. Here's what you do. Your pointer finger plays the second fret on the third string from the top. The tip of your finger plays that second fret there. But then you take the rest of your singer, your finger, linger, and you smash it down onto the bottom four strings on the second fret. You can use your middle finger to help. If you really don't wanna do this, you may use four fingers and do it like that, but I'm telling you, that's just gonna be harder. Like, you can try it. If you like it this way more, great, but I don't think you're going to. I just, just use pointer finger, smash down on those four. 
And then, you know, it'd be great if you could mute the top string with your thumb, but it's not, you don't have to. And then you're gonna do the same strumming on this chord. Down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Um, I should also mention, we're gonna do this strumming pattern two times on each chord. So if we just do the D and the A6, it goes like this. One, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, oink, oink. Okay, so at this point in time, I'm going to tell you that over the D chord, there's a little secret little surprise I'm gonna show you, but I'm not gonna show you just yet. A little secret surprise that the Cranberries do on the D chord. Guys, the next chord is a C over G. C over G is like this. Remember the C we did earlier? It's like that, but a little different. Take your ring finger, put it on the third fret of the top string. Pinky, third fret, second string from the top. Middle finger, second fret, third string from the top. Pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom. This is a C over G. It's called the C over G because it's a C chord with a G as the lowest note. If G is the lowest, the rest of the chords above it, C over G. Same strumming. Sometimes he sneaks his pointer finger off for a second and then he goes like this. You can do it if you want, you don't need to. He just does it occasionally. One more chord, G. Playing all regular G, guys. Middle finger, third fret, top string. Pointer finger, second fret, second string from the top. Ring finger, third fret, second string from the bottom. Pinky, third fret on the bottom string. Same strumming. Let's play all four chords all the way through, two times on each chord for the strumming pattern. Everyone's gone. I've got way too much energy today. Let's just play one. Let's do it slow. Let's do it slow and easy. Let's let it linger. Time for all four chords and D. Then the A6. you're thinking, Stuart, I did okay. But I wasn't great at switching the chords. Also, another thing, I'm not convinced that I did the strumming exactly right each time. Yeah, you know what the truth is? This strumming pattern is more kind of a, uh, it's like a guideline. It's a suggestion, okay? I recommend you do the strumming. It's, it's what the guy does most of the time, but it's not what he does 100% of the time. You can ad lib a little bit. You can make stuff up a little bit. However, I highly recommend you stick to this strumming app. You try to get the strumming just right. Don't go, well, I'm gonna do something else because it's easier. Try to do this one. And then if it goes a little, why am I doing this? Why am I going off on this whole thing? All I needed to say was get the strumming as close as you can. It doesn't need to be perfect. Great, perfect. That's the intro. No, I just, can I show you something? See this pick? Normal pick, right? Look, 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 look. Did you see this pick right here? Guys, this is a $10 pick. This is a $10 guitar pick. It sounds fine. It sounds like shinier. I like this one. I like the dark. I like this one more. And that's how you play Linger by the Cranberries. I'm gonna use a $10 one. Why not? All right, so the intro was this thing. And then we went. And then we started our strumming. They do that strumming with those chords. For the verse, they do it for the chorus. Bunch of times for the verse, bunch of times for the chorus. Back to the verse, back to the chorus, back to the plank. Blank, blah, blah, blah. We have to learn uh, that little secret surprise about the D I told you about. Here's all it is. On the D, to get the true Cranberries linger sound, you have to go like this. So all that is, is we go down, down, up, down, down. Then when we strum up right there, you have to pull your middle finger off, which changes it into a D sus two chord, you guys. Let's practice that together. Down, down, up, down, down, oh! Oh, then you have to put it right back down for the next drum. One, two, three, four. That's how he does it. 
Or does he do it right there? Well, shoot. The whole video's ruined. You lift up your middle finger. That's the secret surprise. And then there's the outro. When they fin it, when they're done singing, they're done with the song, you go back to the intro, but with a tiny little difference. The picking's a little different. Instead of going boop boop ba, boop boop ba, boop boop ba, boop boop ba, we're gonna go boop ba ba, boop ba ba, boop ba boop ba ba, boop ba ba, boop ba. So here's what that is. You got your same two, these two chords, the same ones we did before. You go third from the bottom, second from the bottom, then the bottom. No, that was a, that was a, that was a gosh darn lie, you guys. You go third from the bottom, then you go to the very bottom, then you go second from the bottom, and then third from the bottom. So it's, I'm plucking down, up, up, down, and then you do it again, up, up, down. So, then you go third from the bottom, bottom and you start the whole thing over again so it's boom ba ba boom ba ba boom ba again then add your finger 